Hi everyone. Welcome. Hi guys. Hi Abby. Hi Pamela. Helen. Loretta. Janine. Welcome. Welcome. It's actually Good Friday here. So, uh, it's early on a public holiday for, for me. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Welcome. Finished a diamond painting and it looks amazing. I'm jealous. <laughs> Hi Shara. Oh guess what? I have my phone today, so no running around looking for that at uh giveaway time. Hi Graceland, welcome. I have some um, lag today. Don't know why. Internet should be really good at this time of the morning. <laughs> Hi, Tara. Hi, Barbara. Welcome, guys. I'm good, thank you. I have a little bit of a, what, it feels like I'm, I'm underwater today with one of my ears. It's a little bit like echoey. It's so strange. So I keep uh, popping my ears, which means that I keep sniffing. <laughs> You're lurking and twerking. Okay, good on you. <laughs> Hi, Selena, welcome. Welcome, guys. So we're on week two. Uh, for those that are new, my name is Belinda. Welcome. Uh, we've, we're doing a four-week color along. This is week two. Uh, we've done the face and we started the body uh, last week. We didn't get time to finish it all. So we're going to finish the skin today. And um, also I'm going to start the hair today. So we have hair. All this long, beautiful hair we're going to do today. Bit of fun. Oh, Helen, I hope it gets better for you. It's terrible. I just, I don't know, sometimes it happens. I wake up and my ears just don't want to play. Excuse me. I am not tired much. <laughs> Not tired much. She's looking so cool though, hey. I love it. Anyway. For the body, we need to do a lot more work. So it's looking still very purple. We want it to look more uh, skin toned like it is up here. Um, we'll get rid of some of this purple by adding in some more of the browns over the top. And um, and then we'll be finished with the skin. Hi Dawn, welcome. So um, I feel like I'm not talking loud enough. So please tell me to, uh, you know, speak up or whatever. No worries, Loretta. That sounds like uh, definitely spring cleaning. I've got some here you can do if you'd like. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll see if I can turn the volume up on the mic. Just give me a sec. Um, 
Let's try that. Is that a little better? Hi, Shadow. Okay. I think that's the best I can do without um, losing the quality, hopefully. Hello, Shadow. Are you into mischief again? Of course you are. <laughs> Hello. She's right behind me. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I'm afraid she's going to annoy me. Are you going to annoy me? You are. Yes, you are. She pretends that she's not, but she surely is. Hi, Rochelle. Welcome. Ah, oh, Loretta, I get that. <laughs> Yesterday, I decided to do some diamond painting, and I really shouldn't have. I should have laid down. <laughs> but we just do it, don't we? We do. Come on, then. Quick. Up. Yes. You're being noisy today. Hi. Hi. I'm not talking to you, you know. I am talking to these people who are here. <laughs> Crazy cat. My camera's not right. I need to just move it slightly this way. Let's try that. That's a little better. I'll oh, stop wobbling. Hi Dawn, welcome. Shadow saying hello. Your pair, aren't you? Your pair? Your pairs are vibrating the desk. Hey. Eh? You're a sucky bum. All right, let's get started, shall we? I want to get a fair bit done today, so let's get moving. She's very sassy. She's a poopy cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know that song, Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat, what do they feed you? <laughs> Uh, I've got Venetian red. So I've done the first layer last week. So if you missed that, uh, pop in and check that one out. Um, but I'm going to use some Venetian red and I'm going to go over the purple areas again. So I want to try to get rid of some of this purple shadowing now and uh, create more like a, a skin tone shadow. So we're just going to come in over the top of the previous colors. And we're going to do another layer. My pencil's actually got a nice flat. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit to start with. And um, see if I can show you. Can you see that? It's flat. <laughs> so um, I'm using the tip but it's already flattened off so it's quite flat and I'm not indenting the paper because it's nice flat smooth surface on the top there so you can already see the difference between that section and this section which was quite purple it's already helping uh, get rid of that sort of purple tone Just gonna go over it. <laughs> no worries, Loretta. We um we've been kind of in lockdown 
for a couple of weeks now. So we're, we've gone through like stages here in Victoria and New South Wales. We've had higher restrictions here. Uh, our schools closed down, whereas the rest of the Australia didn't um, immediately. They've had school holidays and stuff too, but different times. But um, this weekend, the whole of Australia has been pretty much locked down. We've been asked not to go out over the Easter weekend unless it's for essentials. So if you're out on the roads, they're able to pull you over. If you're not doing essential things, they can fine you. So no holiday makers. Which is a shame because we usually like to take a day trip or we used to go stay at my dad's holiday house but he sold that a little while ago but we always still make a day trip down there so we won't even be able to do that this year you can already see the color difference in what I've done and it will help bring it in together with that skin color there they've fished they've fished out one million in fines in the past week wow But see, they give us some money and say go spend it and then they fine us so they get it back. Indeed. Indeed. I'm using light pressure too, guys. I don't want to push too much on the tooth of this paper yet. I'm still going to add a couple of colours over the top, so I want to make sure that I can blend this colour out well with the next colour. It's kind of just gliding over it because we did the layer of white. Um, the pencils already started to build up it's just creating a nice layer of pigment and we've gotten rid of our purplish tone here just going over this bit again to get rid of that I heard 1600 but 1600 but they're, they're saying now that uh, it's not just the driver he'll be fined it'll actually be the people in the car as well that'll be fined I'm going to assume that's over the age of 18 of course well maybe not I was reading this morning that in, I can't remember what country it was now, having a moment as usual.
Let me see what I was watching this morning. Sweden. They've got no restrictions. Just going about their daily lives. Um, all right, now I've got some cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon. Hi, Debbie, welcome. Yeah, that's right. I've got cinnamon. I'm going to come over the top of that. Meow. Shadow. You're a chatterbox telling you off for bringing me a cup of tea. <laughs> Shadow. Just light pressure again over the top of it. Building up over that purple and trying to just get it the same as the face. So we want to try and get the same tones. So in the face we can see still see a little bit of purple but uh, we haven't got as much as what we had here in the body earlier today before I started colouring over it. So. pretty good it's starting to smooth out now she is chatty today she's very chatty I don't understand either Selena why why do people think that it's a hoax and it's not real and I don't know like the world's leaders got together and said oh let's do this thing where we pretend there's a virus like it just doesn't happen Oh no. Tea time. <laughs> Hi Heather, welcome. Yeah, that's right. It's good that they're going home. All right, now I've got uh, some light flesh. I'm going to start from this light area again. Mm. 
and I'm going to bring it out over all of the darker area that we did before as well. So we're now starting to smooth off our paper. Flatten out that tooth a little bit. I'm still using light pressure and uh, the pencil's just kind of gliding over it because we've got so many layers now. And I'm hoping that I got rid of a lot of the purple tone now. I've still got a little bit in this dark area, but it's the same around the face. We've still got a little bit of purple coming in through those darker areas. But it looks like a more natural shadow instead of having purple skin. Well, there's anything wrong with that, I guess. My skin's kind of translucent. I think sometimes it can be purple. <laughs> Just trying to smooth out some of these lines that were here by coming over it on different angles. When we come over it on different angles, we're covering up a little bit more of the tooth. Remember, did I use luminance or did I use Prismacolor white? I think I used luminance. It feels like luminance. Luminance has got a little bit of a cool kind of tone in it. So this cool bright white. Oh, it's not really zombie skin it's more like I'm I'm I don't see the sunshine and I'm stuck here in this other world being the other me have you seen Coraline in the movie Coraline it's like another dimension that she goes to but it's like a made-up dimension so it's sort of void of anything real so yeah I just imagine her to be white to not get much color there <laughs> that's good news but um i heard that they're saying that it could you could you may be able to recatch it <laughs> that could be a bit of a problem uh so i've got luminance and i'm just going to blend out using circular motions that skin again just with light pressure coming out just lightly over those dark areas as well I don't want to remove too much of the pigment just want to smooth it out
shadow is quiet again. I think she's into mischief. I can hear her little bell tinking away. She's either cleaning herself or she's playing. <laughs> no worries, Kenny. How are you? Not seeing Caroline. It's a, it's supposed to be a kid's movie, but it's actually pretty dark. Kind of reminds me of the lesson, the grass is not always greener. It was supposed to be originally a motion picture, but the producer thought that because there's a cat in it that talks, he thought that the talking cat could be a little bit, I don't know, tacky. Um, and he didn't want it to look tacky, so he decided to go with stop motion. And uh, it's one of those stop motion movies where they take multiple shots of, of models and move them and takes a very long time. It took 18 months to make the movie, I think it was. I'm pretty happy with that now. That skin looks pretty good. I got rid of some of that purple tone. It doesn't look as pale as it was before. I think that's good. I'm going to need to come back in with those reds and just deepen up the wounds on her abdomen there just to make them stand out a little bit more. But it looks a little bit more, well, a little bit closer to the same colour as her face now. So there's a lot less uh, purple through there. A little bit more of that brown or cinnamon coming through. Just got some cinnamon again. Let's do the wound. So I've got some dark red in the very dark sections. a few darker spots and then I've got the permanent carmine just for around the edges and we're actually going to use a white gel pen here and add some little highlights on the very edge of the wound
Oh, we're just going to zoom in and do that. We're talking about Coraline. Are oh, you talking about a different movie? The King, Girl King? I'm just going to zoom in. a white gel pen. You guys got raining, are you? <laughs> Look, nearly knocked my tea over. <laughs> just gonna put a couple of little white highlight lines just along the edge of the cut you know it's not that visible but it'll just help bring it forward a little bit and send the darker cut back a little bit uh, which will just help create that depth that we're looking for. Very, very light handed there. <laughs> Come back out. Yeah, can you hear her? In the background, she's playing. Oh, Kenny. It is getting worse, so do be careful. All right. I finished the skin. I'm happy with her. She looks cool. Let's get this hair started. Let's get this party started. <laughs> um, and uh, it looks cool, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's do some hair. We're going to create some dark patches first with black I've got black dark indigo and Indian throne hang on Indian three blue I've got white so <laughs> thanks Kenny um, so black 199, dark indigo 157, Indian Thrain blue 247, and white 101. Now let's zoom in and do some hair. Excuse me, sniffing away here. Silly ears. We want to create some nice dark patches here and here, and we want to add in a highlight all around that part of the head there. We do. 
before I start, I'm just going to add in a little bit of light flesh just into and through some of these sections of hair. Just like that. I just want to make sure we had a little bit of skin color there and also just on the top of the head there I'm just going to put a little bit of skin tone in there. Hi Nick and Tina, welcome. Alright, so we're starting with black and we're going to do some flicks ticks, flicks, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to flick out from that central part there and down. I'm going to turn my page around. So I get a really good angle. hand in the way there. Kind of flicking in a bit of a, a C shape. Just like that. So we're just doing that curve or that depending on which way you want to go. Oh, that's a wobbly one. <laughs> so let's doing it from the middle there. And then I'm actually going to do it from the bottom of the hair as well. <laughs> I'll just keep laughing then and she'll laugh the whole day. <laughs> so flicking up now from the edges of the hair. So coming up. These ones are more straight at the bottom here because we're going straight towards the top of the head. But when we come around, we want to curve it towards the middle of the head. To make the head look round, curving it looks, gives us that look. So for these ones, I'm just going to slowly curl them towards the middle of the head. around all the way around so any color that you use Start with the dark colour first. So if you're not doing blue hair, you want to do purple or pink or white. With white hair, you'd use black and greys. Maybe some blue, light blue, pale blue. You're flicking challenged. <laughs> wipe on, wipe off, wipe on, wipe off. <laughs> <laughs> funny so I've just done that in that little curly bit there too just coming down and then because this will be a shadow where her hair her hand is laying over we're going to add some flicks out towards so we've got a little bit of a highlight in this middle section 
you can kind of already see it marked out because it's grayscale it's already really pale in that section so we're just going to make sure that uh, we keep that just doing some little ones close to the hand here just to give us that shadow illusion okay now I think I need another one there and another one there <laughs> just to separate some of those sections of hair there dark indigo I'll do the rest of the hair in a minute we'll just do this top bit first <laughs> all right need to sharpen my pencil make sure you have a nice sharp pencil because then you get nice straight even bits. we're going to do the same thing so from the top looking towards that center bit again. Just turning my page so I get a nice angle. Create some hair strands there. These ones are more straight because they're heading straight towards the bottom. And this side's curved. Add a few more in there. I'm going to make it quite dense with blue. We'll come in with another layer in a minute. Now I'm going to repeat the same process from these sections here. When I do these ones, I'm going to come a little bit further or closer to this middle section. Just going to bring a few of those a little bit further down as well. That's a bit better. Now bring these ones up and into the middle a little bit more. Don't have to be over the, directly over the top of the other ones, they can come in between. We're just gradually filling in the white space. Try to stagger where the lines stop too. You don't want to have like here I've got lines that are coming out a little bit further and some that are lower down. You don't want them all just stopping dead at the same spot or it's going to look kind of strange. Starting to look good. All right, I'm going to repeat same colors again. Black, building up layers of texture. I'm using firm pressure too. I'm not doing wishy-washy flicks. They're heavy, firm, cemented flicks. <laughs> Going back the other way. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to do the uh, deep in dark indigo again, just so we've just built up that texture a little bit. Not quite through the middle though, but still leaving a bit of a gap there and making sure I stagger them so some finish earlier than others. And back the other way. There's one on her face there, I just add that in. Make sure you leave some white lines in between. Okay, now I've got, I've just left those side bits for now, Indian 3 in blue. And uh, I'm just going to sharpen that slightly. I'm going to sharpen it. Hello, Robin, welcome. Uh, Indian 3 in blue and now I'm going to start to come over those lighter sections as well so I'm going to flick <gasps> broke it flicking out coming in between some of those light areas now spinning my paper as I go so I'm getting a nice even layer and I'm getting a good angle coming back from the bottom up so I'm flicking right through so I'm stopping short yeah <laughs> stopping short that reminds me of um, an episode of Seinfeld anyone here used to watch Seinfeld Just flicking up. And then curving a bit more of an angle here. Just flicking through the light section a little bit now. So I've still got my light patch here, darker here in the center and darker on the ends. So I've created a nice highlight section here. <laughs> Linda, yes. No, this isn't. It's an exclusive for this event, Graceland. Um, she's put it in her Etsy shop. Uh, it will be available for purchase after the event without the discount, but for now it has a discount. So if you want to grab it, Graceland, it's there. I just posted the link in the chat and it's also in the description as well. Now I'm going to use the actual Polychromos White this time because it's nice and firm uh, and it's not too soft, so it's not going to smudge these lines out too much. And I'm just going to flick through these white sections here just to help give us that highlight so you can really see it. So firm pressure, not so much that you break it but <laughs> enough to push the tooth down. So we're flattening out that paper. So we've got a really nice highlight section now at the front. So 
like a ring coming around. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> All right, now I want to flatten or completely make the paper smooth. So to do that, I'm going to use my full blender. And uh, this is a new one that I've placed in my, so this is a brand new full blender, Caran Dash full blender, and I've got a pencil extender, which is hollow. Just place that all the way in because I want to protect it. Now I'm actually going to sharpen this, which um, after I've sharpened it, I'm going to need to clean my sharpener. It needs a good clean. just giving myself a little bit of a point and I'm actually just going to follow the direction of the hair and flatten the rest of that paper off and get rid of any of that white fuzzy look that might be there it'll actually deepen the blue color a little bit don't go scribbling over it like that because you'll smudge those lines you want to keep those lines Still one of my favorite products, this one. The link for this should be in the description as well. look cool <laughs> okay let's repeat 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 I've got dark indigo We've done black down here, so I'm just going in with dark indigo. Some of these, as I said before, is coming right through. Some of them I'm stopping before that light section. I'm just going to add a bit of a shadow behind her arm there. Just there, I'm going to add a bit of a shadow because her hair is kind of coming over that section. Gloves. Ah, the same gloves are becoming a uh, health hazard outside of uh, the shopping centres now. I've got Indian three in blue. Just flicking all the way through, and then a little bit of white. Using the full blender to flatten it out. white here full blender 
to this side. Considering no one's supposed to be out today, there's been a lot of traffic down my street. <laughs> Adding dark indigo. I'm not going to put a highlight in this section, I'm just going to put lots of flicks through there. There, I'm going to go back in with black again and just darken that up a little bit. A little bit of the Indian theme in the three. There's one, the blue in the Prismacolor set is called Indian Throne, and this one's called Indian Throne. <laughs> Tiny little bit of white just in some of those gaps there. And then Blender. I'm just thinking here we might need a little bit of depth so I'm going to use some of the uh, cinnamon just coming in behind the hair here and a little bit more white flesh just to blend that off and uh, I think we need some white some some white Numi white Just to flatten the skin off that's a bit better all right let's move down no let's not move down let's do giveaway Do a giveaway. Now, Ennis takes a little while to get back to her emails, so if you've already won, I think Linda, your cousin did, I can't remember her name. Um, it may take her a little while to get back to you. So please, uh, hopefully it won't be too long, but um, she's very busy and it takes her time. So, oh no worries Rochelle, hope everything's okay. <laughs> you, uh, for the giveaway, the winner will be, have a choice of their image from Ennis's Etsy store. You will need to email me and I will be transferring your email address and your choice of image to Ennis for her to get it back to you. It may take a little while for her to get back to you, but she will send it to you. Uh, so please be patient. So let's do this giveaway. Here's the giveaway rules, guys. So pick one number between 1 and 100, only one number per person. First person to call that number owns it. No chatting during number calling until the winning number is drawn. No take backs, no numbers before the words go, go, go or after stop, stop, stop will be counted. And 
Make sure you keep an eye on that chat box because that's where everything happens. The number closest to the generated number without going over it wins. If there is no winner, it will be redrawn. Make sure you're on top chat, sorry, live chat, not top chat. So click on that little arrow at the top there and make sure it's actually selected on the live chat. Any giveaway or promotion is in no way sponsored, endorsed or administered by YouTube. Done. All right. Is everybody ready? Ready? I see some readies already. Ready, 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 ready. Are you ready to rumble? We're just about to start a giveaway. So after I press the go, only numbers. And uh, I've got a timer here, so I'm going to time us. And go. Just remember that uh, the actual video is a little bit behind and that you need to be looking at the chat box to see when I've actually typed in go or stop. Uh, please don't go off by what you're actually hearing because it's not always right. I think it's about 13 seconds or something behind. Behind, behind. I don't want to do any more until we've finished the giveaway, but uh, just noticed a couple of spots that I missed with the blender. She's looking awesome. I love her. Love her. Just noticed a few spots on the skin. I'm just going to use my blender. Why not? That's what it's for. <laughs> I love this blender, favorite product. Nice work guys, couple more seconds. stopped now people so just grabbing my phone going to random.org random between 1 and 100 is that, that good that's good okay and 74 just so you can see that again 74 All right. Oh, Robin went over. Graceland went over. No, I had Shara at sixty seven. Do you guys want to double check that? <laughs> Shara I'll get in touch with you and um, congratulations go pick out an image from Anissa store and let me know which one you would like so I can uh, get Ennis to send it 
camera's really off today. Yeah, you! <laughs> Congratulations. Yay! I need a drink. Water. Tea and get drunk fully. Yeah, I'll talk to you on, yeah. <laughs> on, um... Instagram or Facebook. Either, either. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Now, oh, this is the link for the full blender. I'm hoping that will work. I'm hoping that will work. Let's finish this hair. Alright, so let's follow this side down to here. We've got some longer sections here, so we're going to use longer flicks. Using black first. Looking out from the top. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. My pencil already needs sharpening. Let me just uh, clean out my sharpener. It's a bit full. Did you know that if you sharpen a graphite pencil with your sharpener, it cleans it? Some full blender stuck in it and it's getting stuck on all my pencils. Now. Okay, let's see if that works. It's being naughty, it's being very naughty. No, it's not working properly. No. Let me just grab a torch and have a look in there. I think I might have a bit of lead or something broken in it because it's just not working properly. Hmm. Excuse me. Sorry. banging there. <laughs> it's all good. Oh yay! It's working! <laughs> okay, let's go back to here. Now this hair here is coming all the way around and this is underneath. So I'm going to add some more flicks to that bit there. We've got a bit of a seam line there. I'm going to use that to my advantage. Creating some flicks there. And I'm going to start to create my own little section here. Just like that. Looking back that way. I'm going to come back in this direction, try and give us a little bit of a highlight on this part of the hair too. So coming back from this section here, back down that way, just so we can get some highlights through her hair. 
we can see some of that nice blue and uh, we'll also be able to see the darker patches as well all right that's it I'm done I've created a nice highlight here here and here this is going to be background no it's not blunt um, it was just blocked it shouldn't be blunt this is one of the newer ones <laughs> I've got dark indigo and I'm going to repeat that same step coming out towards that light section but not all the way through it hope you can see that okay there What's it doing? I'm confused. Something's happening. I'm using Graceland. I'm using oh, this paper. Hi Shelly. Welcome. I didn't see you there before. Alright, let me look. No, it just says... Hmm. Oh yeah, you can either. It just says hide user, report, make admin on mine. Because it's my channel. But <laughs> Weird. I'm going to go with, it might be, let me zoom in a bit again, I've got Inden Threen, Inden Threen, Inden Threen, blue, coming back over and right through those middle sections, giving us some of that light colour through there. And then we've got white. Oh, thanks, Elaine. <laughs> That's lovely. Hi, Isabel. <laughs> That was the uh, Venus Tsunami. We did that uh, for patrons only, that one. So if you want to check it out, go check out my Patreon. We finished her. She came up awesome. And I used how many different types of uh, mediums on that? It was to 
demonstrate all different types of mediums or different types of pencils, markers. Um, so yeah, it was a, a fate. <laughs> Alright, uh, I've got a full blender just coming over the top now, flattening out the tooth. The good thing about the blender is too, if you come and blend out all of this and you think it's dulled off too much or it needs more depth, you can still come over it. Uh, the blender is just like a pencil. It's just adding a coating of wax over the top. Um, and uh, I find that you can still go over it with pencil afterwards. So for example, I'm just going to add a little bit more black in there. And you can see that just went over that quite easily. No problems. She looks pretty. I'm really happy with her hair. It's lovely hair. <laughs> lovely hair. All right, let's continue. Up here now. I want to add, I want some light spots and I want some dark spots. So I'm going to start up the top here where we've got a bit of a shadow and I'm actually just going to line that area there. Can you see that? Just lining around her finger. Just gently, I'm not using firm pressure to do this. I just want to mark it out. First. So I've added a bit of a shadow. I need a shadow here. And I'm going to add a shadow there. Alright, now I'm going to flick from that area. So coming from that shadow first. Coming up from this one. Down. And up. Down. Down. I'm going to concentrate on some downs here first. Alright, we need to look here and see if I can find an area where we can do a highlight. So here is really light, so I want to try to make this a highlight. So I'm actually just going to bring that all the way down. There. This one, I'm going to stop and push up here. Because I want a little bit of a highlight here, like up here. And then this will be my highlight. So I'm going to flick from there up or down, whichever picture, whichever way you picture, sort of leaning, I guess, is uh, dependent on which way you're going. So this will be my highlight in here. So this will be dark down here. There's a highlight there. Does that make sense? Mm. The phone's vibrating again. I got your message, Shara. You know what's interesting? I think that's what uh, last week's winner picked. <laughs> All right, so here, I'm going to make it a highlight as well because we've already got. My pencil starting to flatten. It's not as sharp as it was. Cool. 
creating my highlights and my low sections first so you can see where I've created these highlights to make the hair look like it's sort of flowing <laughs> flowing <laughs> sorry uh, <laughs> who needs a drink Sammy needs a drink what <laughs> oh Sammy's a good teacher <laughs> okay I'm just sort of looking up here what's going on I don't drink can't. Used to. Can't now. Yeah. Does not like me. My liver cannot handle it. What have we got up here? Let's do some flicks through here. These are like skinny sections of hair. So I'm just going to mark them in. I think this might be cobweb all up here, so I just want to be careful I don't mix the two. Could be hair. A bit of hair here and a bit of hair cobweb there. For now it looks a little confusing because it's all black, but uh, we'll get it sorted out by adding that blue in. Because the original hair colour was so light, we've got plenty of room to play with the dark and light through here. Alright, let's go. I've made marked out some areas. Hi Cassandra, welcome. That's a good way to look at it, have I? Our uh, button eyes hair that was done with Copic and Pablo's, so it's slightly different because we had a pale blue background to start with. Um, but yeah, Elaine, I liked button eyes too. That's one of my favourites. Uh, dark indigo coming over the top. black and through There's a lot of scattered hair down here, so a lot of it's just basically lining over the top. As long as I get some of my highlights in there, I'm not fussed too much there. These flicks are a lot longer than the ones at the top because the hair is a lot longer. Uh, 
Alright. <laughs> I'm just reading everybody's seat. Everybody's seat. Come on. Not today. Put that smile on the dial. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bigger picture here. She's looking so cool. Let's go with Inden Green Blue. Coming through those highlighted sections. some areas that I think I need to darken with the darker colors again here. That's good. Just coming over some of those excess strands that were hanging over the edges too. I want them in there. I saw a meme with that actually. Dory, instead of just keep swimming, it's just keep flicking. some hair coming down here I'm just gonna do some of these as hair doing them as the lighter color Barbara. Hi Louise. Bye Shara. I got your message. What time is it there, um, Heather? If it's late. <laughs> oh, it's very exciting, Shelley. I was saying that um, on Monday and Tuesday that we were getting started. Okay. Uh, I've got white. Uh, actually, no, before I do white, I just want to just want to sharpen these. Darking the go on black again. I think I just need a little bit more depth in some of these areas. So I am just going to do that. Just adding a little bit more dark. To those darker areas. I'm 
hoping that will bring up those lighter areas a little bit more. That was black. I'm just going to use a little bit more dark indigo. And then we've got white. Try refreshing. Ha, snap. highlights now I'm going to be doing purples and blues through the background kind of like the door that she goes through um, to get to the other world um, I kind of wanted to do that through that section so I'm going to do that So I've got a couple of highlight areas there and I've got some dark areas. Now I've got my full blender, Zyrtec. Zyrtec doesn't work for me. I use Clarentine. that noise as I said considering no one's supposed to go out it's loads of traffic It's a truck of some sort. I do apologize for that. And I turned my speaker up too so people can hear me better, but uh, then that happens. <laughs> How's your look? She's looking good. Louise, uh, I posted it up before. I've got a link. It's the Karen Dash Full Blender, and I have it in a pencil extender so it lasts longer and doesn't break. Because it's very break, very breakable. <laughs> it's very breakable. Most of the product links that I use are in the description. The only one I think that's not is the mixed media paper that I'm using, <clears throat> which is also here as well in the chat box. She's missing an eye. I know, I was just about to do that. We've still got 20 minutes, so I'm going to colour in this eye. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's zoom in. Now, on the colour list, I had... 
uh, black, grey, and I'm going to use the luminance white. I'm going to zoom in. Maybe if I can find the zoom in section. Hello. She's so pretty. Hello, my pretty. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to mark out the really highlighted bits. So I'm going to use Illuminates White and I'm just going to highlight the sections that I want to be really light. Then I'm going to move out with the cold grey one, which is 230, and just move out from that area to the grey areas. I know how confusing, huh? Going backwards, people, so we're going backwards. And then I've got my black, and I'm going to fill out the rest of it. Just covering over some of the lines, keeping my highlights. Gradually, I'm filling it in. Put the grey and the black on first, so it's a little bit harder to colour over those areas just means that I'm keeping some of my highlights. Okay, coming back in with that cold grey. Just smudging that black. Black again. And then my white. Helen, thank you so much. of white and I think we need to add a little bit of that black just around the outside of the eye again on her skin I was trying to get a nice sharp line around the outside. A couple of bits of hair there that uh, I'm just going to fill out as well so that we see this face is actually finished. And white gel pen. A very important part of it. <laughs> we want some of this to be slightly lighter. Just 
Just a couple of little button highlights there. I'm just redoing the ones that were in her eye there and on her lip because I've rubbed over them with my finger a couple of times they're faded now she has two eyes let's pop a little bit of the dark red on the edge of the button Just around the edges. Just kind of going over into the button a little bit on these sections as well. Just adding some of that colour. Inside the button. And on the ropey bit, done. Oh, her eye, yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Love those colours too. That was light phthalo green and cobalt, deep cobalt green. Pretty. Okay, what have we got? these I've got uh, cold grey I'll zoom in again we'll do these needles I'm just going to come up and add some cold grey onto them Add the black along the very edge. So we've got our shadow there. We're going to use a white gel pen to add in some little highlights. And when we do her top, we'll obviously come around this. We won't be colouring over that. For this, I want to add some of the dark red in. So I've got dark red in those darker black areas. Use that grey again, cold grey. <laughs> like, so, if you haven't seen the story, it's a little strange. But um, basically, she, the demon, gets you to sew buttons into your eyes in this other world, and then. Once you've done that, she's got your complete trust. She takes your life force, basically. Um, so this other me hasn't quite gone the full length. It's like she realised she was tricked before she finished. <laughs> just colouring over the top of that now with that grey. I'm going to use the black just to outline it again. Because I've lost some of that with, with that grey.
She's living in both worlds. She's living in both worlds. No, I think I'm sure it's been torn away, ripped. I think it's supposed to be all the way down, but it's just shredded. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of permanent carmine just to the needles, just a little bit on the edges. <laughs> yeah she's turning into like a bit of a monster isn't she oh dear <laughs> all right for the key we're gonna add a little bit of venetian red just a little bit because it's a key not just a button so I'm just going to add that to the black areas and just come into that white a little bit as well. Looks good. So I've done it darker over the black areas and then lightened it up in the lighter areas. like a rusty key I guess oh. the pencils running away from me Lane, I'm like that too. I've, uh, as Shelley said, I've just started helping to color a few of the colorathon images, and uh, it just feels like there's just so much to do. Of course, I just broke my pencil again. Snappity snap. Going around all those really dark black edges with that Venetian red still, just sharpened it so I could get into those dark black areas. All right, night, Iselina. I've got black again, and I'm just gonna go back in and darken up the very dark areas so around the creases there's a bit of a crease where the button sort of dips in it's like a lip I don't know what that is called on a button but I 
that bit. <laughs> Then we're going to use some of the grey. Yeah? Hold grey. colouring over and, uh, I'm going to add in some white for highlights <laughs> oh, I'm trying <laughs> Let's add in some little highlights here. Some of these highlights I'll add on again after because I want to sort of bring them out into other sections. But I actually want to add a little bit of a shine on this one. So I'm going to do just down here, do a bit of a line. And right on the very edge here, I'm going to do a long line and then a long line, and then another long line if it will draw over the pencil. And then we want to do a little there we go. I've got a sparkle. And I might do that again up the top here, but I'll wait until her top is coloured so we can actually see it uh, on there. We'll do the same on the needles when we get to there. We'll add a little sparkle in the tip of them so that you'll be able to see those but I can't do that until we've actually colored in this uh, background area but that's today's lesson <laughs> video tutorial I don't know what you call it but that's today's week two finished I'll scan it and I'll put it up in the Facebook group. So if you want to check that out, come and join my Facebook group. Also, it's going to be going up on Patreon. Uh, next week, you'll see it in the video clip. The video, what do you call it? Thumbnail? And uh, it's also going to be on my Facebook page. Looking good, eh? I like it. I wonder if it'll still happen, Elaine. No worries, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I will be back on Monday for something. Um, I'll be back. For something <laughs> I think I might do some Ruth Sanderson I've got a couple of new books from her I'm going to have an attempt to do some more grayscale I 
I hope so, Elaine. But thank you, everyone, for coming. Have a very, very happy Easter. Um, I know in the circumstances that it's going to be hard, but um, I know that um, I just want to wish you a happy Easter anyway. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and goodbye. Bye.